increase all the stats and kill all the manticores. Hey there everybody and welcome back to the Smite Beta. Now my name is Dasvale and I'm here to show you some of the interesting changes that went into the major patch that hit yesterday. These changes included a new stat called Focus. Now there's plenty of items that will give you focus so you have a good selection of things you can choose. But what I'll show you is here on the tooltips of my abilities, they're a little different now. Now as you can see, Drain Life, it will increase with physical damage, the damage it does. So physical damage will show up in orange with that plus zero right there. But then it says physical damage while healing for 30 plus zero and that's in green. That green means it's affected by focus. So if I get 100 focus, that will increase by a good amount. Now, you can also see down on Cocoon, the stun will be for one second plus zero. Now, it's up to a max of two seconds. Two seconds stun on Cocoon with Arachne is very, very powerful. More powerful than you would think it would be. And it's a great thing to have. And what I would suggest if you play an Arachne is not to go and buy items with focus, but to just go as heavy with the attack power as you possibly can, get as much as you can, and then you take that and you buy with the stats focus to get up to 100. I did this in a uh, previous match, and oh man, it is so strong once you get into the point where I bought, I think it was two items, and then I went full focus. And that was late enough into the game where that two second stun really, really hurt. Now I'm going to go ahead and go on with this. It's just a trial match, which as you can see, they changed it. It's all medieval now. You have a castle, lots of the knights. This shoots ballista. It's, or it's a shooting ballista. And... It's nice, it's cool, and they change everything. If you go in here, you can see that these are all knights cheering you on and stuff. Medieval archers. The manticore is not any really different. But hey, it's cool, and look at you get a little black knight to charge in with you. So I'm gonna get on in farther, and then I'll show you the effects of focus on enemy gods and the different abilities that you would get. Now that I have my ultimate, the Cocoon, I'm going to show you the baseline ability where it does it for just one second. I'm going to wait till a Manticore gets a little closer because obviously he's going to kill these creeps even as mine come in. But let's get a snag on him. One second. So, pretty good. Ow, he actually hurts a little bit because I'm not trying to push the lane. I want to hit max level to show you this. That was one second. It's pretty strong in and of itself because, say... You pull him into a tower and you get one second stun. That's still at least one hit by the tower. Get out of here, guys. It's at least one second on the tower hitting them. And so that's pretty strong itself. Oh, I should run away now. And because of that, it's always been a really strong move because it can also pull your enemy into the group battle and make it so that they can't get out for a at least a moment, because then you can also jump on here too, which is drain life, and it makes it so that it's very easy to keep something in place without them getting away and killing them, essentially. Now you upgrade this to a two second stun, and I'll show you what it does. It's just so powerful. Now as you can see right here, I maxed out my focus. So it's very important to realize that on every character, focus will be different. If I put this on on her, which you will see in the Lion's Den video, which will come out tomorrow, that focus will not increase, say, his damage on his knockback. No. And instead, what it does is it increases the stun duration on that from one second to a max of two seconds to greatly increase the chance that he'll be able to pull off a kill there and it also increases the damage that he'll do while people are in his shifting sands or also increases the slow of his shifting sands so this is very important to realize that you won't always increase the number two number three and number four abilities of your character it could be something totally different it could be one 
three and four, but it won't always be the same. So right now, my stun will be for two seconds. Let's grab the Manticore. That's so long for a veteran player of Arachne like me, because I pretty much main as Arachne. That is a huge amount of time to unload. Now, why I said that Arachne would be great to play with stacking on her power now is you can stack her power, her penetration, and her attack speed. And with stacking all three of those, you'll be able to just unload in those two seconds and completely decimate an enemy, which is what I tried the first time. Lifesteal will obviously still be important, and crit will be the probably backup stat, but it's just so nice to be able to do that. And she becomes a real powerhouse if you let her get fed a little early on to let her get the early penetration, attack speed, power, and focus. Becomes so powerful. This also, the ability to buy stats, lets a non-tank character be able to go in and buy specifically physical protection, magical protection, health, HP 5, or movement. And that'll be really powerful because then you won't have to really worry about, oh, I'm really, really weak in melee combat, so I have to buy a tanking item. No, you can just go ahead and be like, oh, I'm kind of weak in melee combat. Buy some physical protection. Or, I'm really weak against magical characters. I'm going to buy some magical protection. So I'm going to head back and show you that, and then after that, this will be pretty much the end of the video for showing you the stats and focus. So, as you can see, Arachnate does take a lot of damage from melee. So spend a bunch of gold and my physical defense is now 96 and all I have is the boots still 96 physical protection 100 focus and all I have is the boots it's really great and I think it's a great addition to smite even though some people will say that it's not see this guy's not getting away this poor manticore oh the creeps I will still kill him. Yep. Ow. I apologize. That was really loud, and I've actually never had that happen during the middle of a game. I guess they changed that because I haven't finished a practice match since this patch. That was painful. I apologize. And these were just the changes to stats, focus, and just how much of a powerhouse each god can become because of focus. So that's all for now. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and check out Lion's Gate, which is coming out, Lion's Den, which is coming out tomorrow. And I hope you have happy holidays, and I'll see you next time.